I have two remarkable stories about some of the seafoods who've contributed so much to the uh, martial history here. We're gonna do a slideshow presentation. First one, Sifu Ma Kin Fong. Um, this is the uh, Bruce Lee Edmonton connection here. Sifu Ma Kin Fong taught the Lawhorn style and Northern Shaolin style at the Chinese Freemason in the uh, 70s before moving to Vancouver in the, uh, the 80s. Uh, this, this picture, this slide of him is, uh, he's breaking, I believe, a chopstick against his throat. And this was on 90 some street in Chinatown. Now in Hong Kong, he taught at Jingwu and also the, he taught the police force. And one of his students in Hong Kong was uh, Wong Jack Man. And this was the individual who fought Bruce Lee in San Francisco in 1964, that his, uh, historic uh, match. Now, I only found out two years ago that Master Mark In Fung is my second cousin's uncle. Hence the uh, local connection to uh, the uh, Bruce Lee story. Now there's still a healthy debate about who actually won that fight, but we, we can all agree that martial arts won with Bruce Lee developing Jeet Kune Do and the rise in martial arts popularity because of uh, his influence. So that's a fascinating story. And uh, so there's a picture of Bruce Lee and, uh, and uh, Wong Jack Man. Uh, next slide. We have Sifu Frank Lee, White Crane uh, Master. Now Sifu Frank is an iconic pioneer in uh, Mten martial arts history. Uh, one of his uh, students was uh, Billy Chow. Uh, Billy Chow was the super welterweight world champion from 1984 to 1986. Um, he trained here in Edmonton. Uh, Billy Chow is also a movie star in Hong Kong, uh, often playing the bad guys. And uh, I guess he's quite proud of it because he has such powerful kicks and he's tall. And uh, he, uh, there's a picture of, slide of him uh, fighting Jet Li in the movie Fist of Legend. When you get to fight Jet Li, you really have it made. And this was a movie made in 1994. Next, I uh, just want to play this video first. Uh, Boards don't hit back. Uh, famous line from Bruce Lee in Enter the Dragon. Boards don't hit back. The reason why I, I show this video is because um, I recently saw a video of an uh, anti-Asian racism poem called uh, Eyes Open, produced by an all-female Asian China, uh, Canadian creative team. And some of the lines were, our elders taught us to keep our heads down, keep your grades up, keep your mouth shut. Uh, with the recent rise in anti-Asian discrimination, I can't help but think that we've become like boards. We don't hit back. You know, I see uh, heart-wrenching videos of uh, old Asian ladies and men getting pushed, kicked, and punched. I believe that as a martial artist, Sifu, mentors, and instructors, we are needed more than ever. Um, I'm not saying that we fight back with violence or, or hate, um, but those people being attacked could be our children, our parents, our grandparents, aunties and uncles. In martial arts, we teach not just fighting skills, but life skills, like how to be resilient, how to treat others with respect and empathy. If more people can be taught these martial virtues, there will be less hate and more love for all humans. Uh, this was actually suggested recently by Sifu Adam Chan, a Wing Chun instructor in Vancouver as a starting point. You know, you think back to 1964 when Bruce Lee fought J Wong Jack Man because he was teaching non-Chinese when we've progressed so much uh, with all races learning martial arts and we need to start at the grass, grassroots level and have more conversations not just in the month of May because it's Asian Heritage Month but year round. Uh, today I only ask that we, we are available to have these conversations and pledge to teach the character virtues so there's less hate and discrimination against all races and let us bring out the Bruce Lee in all of us and hit back. Thank you that was my message. Um, I guess uh, this pretty well uh, covers most of uh, the presentation. Uh, I just want to thank all the honorable Sifus, CJFs. Uh, 
thank you so much for participating. I want to say what an honor and privilege it is to have the esteemed seafoods come together today. Um, there's a saying, Mola, um, Mjatka, all martial arts in one family. And uh, look for the uh, more detailed video documentary, uh, The History of Martial Arts and Lion Dance in Edmonton, to be released sometime this summer. I, ha I have to thank all those who contributed behind the scenes to make this a success, uh, particularly the Chinese Benevolent Association, uh, Lan Chan, uh, to uh, Christina and the Edmonton Heritage Council, ECAMP, uh, the people behind the scenes, Ashton Wong, Ben Lee, and Kevin Dons, who edited and compiled a lot of the videos that you saw. Uh, last but not least, I'd like to uh, thank my co-host, Ms. Megan Sang, for all your ideas, contribution, and assistance.